Hey, this is JB from Within Punxie, and I'm sitting here with the legendary The Nils. How's it going, boys? All right, you? Yeah, I'm going good. good. So uh, we're at this uh, mini Pooza Fest that you got the poster for. Nice poster. Yeah. And uh, you guys did play Pooza Fest before, so uh, how do you enjoy uh, playing uh, Pooza Fest? It's great. We did, it, uh, we did the 5th and the 10th, I think. Or no, we did the 1st and the 10th. First, the first and the, and and the fifth. Yeah, 2015. We played the first Fest and the fifth anniversary Fest. So we did it twice and it's great. It always brings in bands from all over the place and you get to hang out with uh, cool bands. And Channel 3, they had Channel 3, which was one of yeah. my favorite all time bands. Yeah. And I uh, got to hang out with them, I got to sing a song with them, so that was really cool. Nice. Yeah. And uh, how's uh, Ghost of Shadows uh, doing? Well, slow but good, you know, uh, we didn't sell like tons, like uh, millions or nothing like that, but we did pretty good considering, uh, you know, it was a long time in coming and we lost Alex and stuff, but, you know, we sold a fair amount and, uh, you know, considering it was our first effort back, we did pretty good. It's, it's two years, it's still, you know, so we got a lot of airplay back home on show. We got airplay on uh, Music Clues and uh, Much Music, so. CBC played it. We did okay, you know, like, considering what it was, it, we did pretty good. But now we're going to try and make a new record, so that's the one, you know, we're going to aim big for, you know. Nice. Are you guys going to be playing anything new tonight? Off that? We got a couple of songs that we got one that we, we, we've been working on stuff, but we got one we're going to try that we haven't played in a long time stuff, and it's a new song, kind of. It's a slower song, but it's cool. Here's the, the man in Tilt, and I stole his weed, he says, so. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> you and your fucking halves. You and your fucking trigger happy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this game, last year you guys played at Amnesia Rockfest. Yeah. Yeah, how was that? That was great. That was really cool. That was lots of fun. Yeah. Just got to play with, uh, you know, all those bands and stuff. It was mental. I mean, I hadn't seen anything like that. So many punks in one place. It was cool. I mean, uh, you know, it was a bit early in the day and stuff. And, uh, you know, like, people, there was other bands going, right? So it's like, sometimes we could have had a few more people. But we did good. And the people that were there seemed to enjoy it. So nice. we're honored to play it. So it's cool, you know? Yeah. Hey, you guys got a couple videos out now. And uh, you guys got uh, a couple live. And then you got that one that you guys did. So we did the direction on the video. We had uh, this friend of ours, Batch. He uh, does. Uh, he, he's a filmmaker by trade, and he does like uh, to, to earn a living. He has to do like CBC commercials and uh, CIBC commercials. I mean, and shit like that. But he's been following us for what, like a year or two. Like, you know, we got all it's kinds. Got five hours of footage. Five hours of footage five of, of all kinds, like rock fest. You know, we got stuff. Uh, interviews. He interviewed Peter Edwards, who produced our album. Yeah. He produced uh, people at Rock Fest, like Kastner, John Kastner, my buddy from the Doughboys. And uh, we got all kinds of interviews and us playing and rehearsing and shit like that. So we, he's going to try and do something now. We're going to go watch it because we haven't seen it in a while. But uh, yeah, we're going to try and do stuff like that. It helps, you know? Yeah. Like it helped and loved the, the record a lot. Like, and still, like, just recently, I had people in America call me up and say, like, they just saw the video to Love to Hate from Shadows and Ghosts. And, uh, they, they all love it, so, you know, and they're just getting to it now, so it's cool. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and it, it looks, it looks pro, considering the, you know, with the effort you work you put into it, it, I think it came, I'm really, I really like it. And it's in a barn in our neighborhood, the bar where we yeah. are, it's a bar Courcel, you know yeah. that place? It's like our little neighborhood bar, so it's kind of cool. We go there, watch hockey games, people know us there and they like us, you know, so it's kind of cool. Yeah, the cinematography on it is really great. It's really well produced. Yeah, he did a good job, man. He fucking, he, considering, uh, you know, we had him up at 8 in the morning to shoot that, and, you know, no one was complaining that he had to do a fake show, you know. Yeah. So we wake up at 8 to do a fake show, so, uh, but hey, we pulled through it and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty cool. Well, yeah. people showing up, there's nobody showing up. We had to have one, one of the, the hot claws on. Yeah, one of the bartenders was had to show up for work. Hey. You guys are on TV now. <laughs> So, uh, corporate distribution, so, uh, 
now is going to be more of our songs, like try and get songs like with the new people on it. Like on the last record, we had a couple of new ones with the new band, and we had a couple that Alex and I had worked on with Mark too, yeah. and uh, that we hadn't got to do properly, so we put those on, and we wanted to have Alex be involved in some level or other. But this time, no disrespect intended, we wanted to make it more like fresher stuff, you know? Yeah. There's no point in keep rehashing like older things and stuff, so that's what we're going to give it a go. And we're not really sure, we're thinking about it now, we were talking about it on the way up, well, maybe like a, a concept album, you know? Yeah. I know it sounds funny, but you know, it's like, who knows, it might be like the last record we do, I mean, not that we're thinking that, but you know, it's getting harder and harder to make records and pay for records because we're not rich guys and there's no more industry to speak of. And, and it's very hard, there's so many bands and stuff. Not that you know, I'm bragging on that, but it, it just gets harder to, to keep a living, or not even a living, but uh, just your your trade, your what we do, you know? Yeah. We do this because we love it. I mean, it'd be nice to be remunerated a little better, but Unfortunately, uh, you know, but that's not a, I never played music because I was going to make money, right? I, I played music because I wanted to play music, and, yeah. and I'm still doing it, and it's like, I just turned 55, you know, so it's like, I think we're doing something pretty good, and, and we built, you know, considering we lost my little brother and stuff, who was a big, big part of the band, and, and we rebuilt such a tight little rock and roll band, I'm pretty proud of that, you know? We got Mark and Phil and, and Emilie who's just like just recently here so you know it's cool and that's why I'm saying about the record I want the record to be about like about us you know we might still do like one or two things that Alex has his little fingers and ideas all over and like always because everything we do is about Alex too you know. Yeah. Of course we always end with the famous book and the famous quote that inspired your life so I was catching everybody on this one. Me, it's uh, Hunter S. Thompson, and uh, the quote goes, uh, The music business is a long and plastic shallow hallway where pimps and thieves run uh, wild and young men die like dogs, and there's also a negative side. <laughs> Hunter S. Thompson. Uh, that's